What's up everybody, Damon here and in today's gaming news, GTA 6 feels like it's coming sooner than later. A couple big games just got release dates later this year, and let us give you the grand tour of E6, a cutting edge esports event space at Six Flags Fiesta, San Antonio, powered by Coca-Cola. This is your Daily Fix. Publisher Take-Two Interactive may have just teased the release window for the next entry in the biggest gaming franchise of all time, Grand Theft Auto 6. It could be on the way as soon as next year. In a press release issued alongside its yearly earnings report, Take-Two shared projections for the coming years, including a massive projection for fiscal years 2025 and 2026. For context, Take-Two's fiscal 2025 will begin in April of 2024. Now, the release dates. Looking ahead, fiscal 2025 is a highly anticipated year for our company. For the last several years, we've been preparing our business to release an incredibly robust pipeline of projects that we believe will take our company to even greater levels of success. In fiscal 2025, we expect to enter this new era by launching several groundbreaking titles that we believe will set new standards in our industry and enable us to achieve over $8 billion in net bookings. We expect to sustain this momentum by delivering even higher levels of operating results in fiscal 2026 and beyond. Now, while Take-Two doesn't explicitly name Grand Theft Auto here, it's hard to imagine any other franchise doing this work for them. For one, Take-Two's net bookings this past fiscal year reached $5.3 billion, which was a record annual high. Notably, this record was reached thanks to the contributions of Zynga, which it acquired last year. Prior to this, Take-Two's regular annual net bookings were looking roughly in the $3 billion ballpark and steadily rising. It took the acquisition of a major mobile developer to see them leap over a billion dollars in the space of a single year. So, what do you think? Does it sound like GTA 6 is coming next year? In any case, I wouldn't expect an official announcement during the upcoming summer announcement season alongside all the PlayStation, Xbox, Ubisoft, and other showcases. Rockstar wants to pick a time when it can have the spotlight all to itself. As for a game that has been announced, Warner Brothers and NetherRealm have officially revealed that a rebooted Mortal Kombat 1 will arrive on September 19th this year. It's coming to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PC, and even Nintendo Switch. A statement reads, the game will introduce a reborn Mortal Kombat universe that has been created by the fire god Liu Kang, featuring reimagined versions of iconic characters as they've never been seen before. Along with a new fighting system, game modes, bone-crushing finishing moves, and more. These characters so far include Liu Kang, Scorpion, Sub-Zero, Raiden, Kung Lao, Katana, Melina, Shang Tsung, and Johnny Cage. NetherRealm has confirmed these characters will be featured in a new story mode, but has yet to reveal what other game modes will be included. A beta will take place in August for those who pre-order any version of the game on PS5 and Xbox series. Crossplay and cross-progression will be added, but not until after launch. Mortal Kombat 11 was released in 2019, and we gave it a 9 out of 10, calling it the best game in the 27-year-old series thanks to deep, methodical new mechanics and fun story. I agree. I don't play fighting games competitively, but Mortal Kombat 11 had a really great story mode, and I played through the whole dang thing. If Mortal Kombat 1 is similar, I'm on board. So Mortal Kombat is in September, and in October, we're getting Lords of the Fallen, October 13th to be exact. It will lord over the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and PC. This is a Dark Souls and Elden Ring-like running in Unreal Engine 5. Originally introduced as a straight sequel to the 2014 game, Lords of the Fallen, this new one was first called THE Lords of the Fallen. It went through a subtle and slightly confusing rebrand, and is now being dubbed a spiritual successor to the original game of the same name. In any case, Lords of the Fallen is now the biggest game we know of coming in October, although that is sure to change in the coming weeks as we get all sorts of release dates out of Summer of Gaming. Now for a game that is actually out now. Respawn's latest patch for Star Wars Jedi Survivor has arrived, bringing with it a slew of fixes and improvements to the PC version of the game. However, console players will need to wait a little longer to get their hands on the update. The new patch brings numerous performance and stability improvements to Jedi Survivor on PC, while also addressing a number of rare game-breaking bugs that were preventing some players from progressing. A series of graphical updates are also being implemented in Patch 5 that aim to fix instances where characters and enemies fail to appear correctly during gameplay and cutscenes. I still need to finish up Jedi Survivor, but now I am fully invested in Tears of the Kingdom and will be for quite some time. And I know whenever I get back to it, I won't remember what I was doing and what all the controls were. <laughs> Gamer problems, am I right? And finally today, looking for a summer vacation destination? Check out E6, a brand new cutting edge gaming campus and event space at Six Flags Fiesta in San Antonio, Texas, powered by Coca-Cola. 
It's outfitted for esports tournaments and gaming events of all sizes, whether it's a 5v5 match on the event stage or a massive tournament in the 1601 seat Zaragoza Theater. If you prefer to play some games yourself, guests of all skill levels can grab a seat at one of E6's gaming stations. You can grab a Pro Controller at one of the next gen console stations or take one of the custom Intel PCs for a spin. They're all kitted out with NVIDIA RTX 4080 graphics cards, G Sync 2080 Hertz monitors, Razer mice and keyboards, and more. There's also an ultra modern 52 seat lounge where you'll be able to watch the action while sipping a signature cocktail or just charge your phone and use the restroom. Want to take some gaming equipment home with you? Go shopping for new gear in the retail space. Upstairs, there's also the Coke VIP Lounge, where athletes can watch live streamed events and relax in a full service upscale environment. Basically, E6 is a gamer's paradise. Go see for yourself today at Six Flags Fiesta San Antonio. And that is your daily fix for Thursday, May 18th. Now that you're caught up on the news, check out that reveal trailer for Mortal Kombat 1. I'm Damon Hadfield, and for all your gaming news, stay tuned to IGN.